Detective Doom Kitty in The Case of the Missing Muffin. for a bite, Doom? You're okay, Iris. Sure, I landed face down, but it was only 40 feet up. <laughs> Never felt better. Oh, is that a body part? Hey, Iris lost a tooth. You know what that means? We get to make tooth necklaces. Iris will be getting a visitor tonight. Like from a heinous apparition from another world? Pardon me? No, from the Tooth Fairy. She'll sneak into your room late at night and take your tooth. <gasps> oh, that's terrifying! Wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> the Tooth Fairy always leaves a trinket behind. She's very polite that way. A trinket? Cool! Can I have anything I want? <clears throat> uh, a strange winged creature sneaks into one's room under the cover of darkness to steal one's teeth? And everyone is okay with this? Yep. Sure. Good with me. There's nothing to be worried about, Scaredy. Come on, Iris. Let's put that tooth under your pillow. No, no. My teeth are staying right where they are. They will not fall victim to some tooth monster. Ow! No, my tooth is fine. That's just psycho... Oh, what is it? Psychosomatic, where your brain fools you into feeling pain that you really don't. Oh, okay, brain. Come on. Joke's over. I'm serious now. I'm serious. Ow. Oh, no. I want a rocket-powered catapult, a band of praying mantises that live in a shoebox, and, oh, 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 violent shoes! So no one can hear me coming! I don't think the Tooth Fairy takes trinket orders. What's in it for her? She gives all kinds of cool gifts, and all she gets is a bunch of gross old teeth. I'm telling you, she makes tooth necklaces. There's a huge market. Well, in any case, the faster Iris gets to sleep, the faster she'll get a visit from the Tooth Fairy. Right, Iris? <laughs> Shh. Night, everyone! Uh, don't you guys have somewhere to go? <laughs> Ya. 
Oh, the anticipation is killing me. Oh, or maybe that's my malaria acting up again. Aha! Here it is! What is it? Oh, maybe it's a piece of an ancient stalagmite from the underwater caves of Grumston Canyon. I've always wanted to go. Or maybe it's a good luck charm. Or maybe it's an ancient vial of disease that could kill us all. Or just turn our hair into a lovely shade of moss green. Whatever it is, I'm gonna find out. Hey, has anyone seen Scaredy this morning? Oh me, oh my. The end is surely near. Scaredy, what's the matter? Oh, isn't it obvious, Ruby? I am on my last wings. <coughs> I fear I shall not make it till morning. It's already morning. Oh, well, then I fear I shall not make it till evening. Fear not. Poe is here. I heard the moaning clear across the yard. <coughs> oh. Oh. Judging from the swelling and the pounding, your wisdom tooth will have to come out. Can I have my mouth back? My dear Scary, how am I supposed to understand a word you're saying when you fail to enunciate? I think Scarity wants you to let go of his mouth. Yo, oh, beg your pardon. Oh! Ah! Ah! Again! Is my cape torn? Ow! You know, nothing is coming out, especially a tooth imbued with my much-needed wisdom. I've had all my wisdom teeth out. It hasn't affected me. Oh, drat. Without my wisdom, I will be forced to exist with a less-than-average intellect. <gasps> oh! What will it be like to be vacant? Empty, I ask you, with not a speck of smarts to speak of. Morning, Morning Gloomsters. <coughs> oh, oh, my. No more. Please stop. Oh, oh no, I beg of you. Oh. What was that, little bat? Scaredy has a sore tooth. <coughs> Best way to cure a sore tooth is to scare it out. Isn't that for hiccups? You got him too, Ruby? Must be going around. Don't worry, Scaredy. There's bound to be some kind of natural remedy in one of my books. Still got the hiccups? I'm good, thanks. See? Works. Nice one, Len. Finally. My grandmother used to say leeches could cure anything. Those were her last words. Hmm. Scaredy, your tooth will have to come out. But my precious wisdom! No! Just breathe into the bag, little bat. That's for hyperventilating, Frank. Oh. <laughs> the bag worked! The little dude's really hyperventilating now, huh? Oh, maybe you should try standing on your head. Well, if you think it might help. Hmm, you got me. What's that for? <laughs> Not sure, but you gotta admit, it's pretty funny. Ah! I've got it! My trinket's a healing crystal from Gloomstown, just outside Gloomsville. Any healing feeling yet? Well, I do not know, you know, because the rash on my neck from the crystal is making it hard to tell. All this thinking has made me hungry. Let's make some sandwiches. Yes, all this thinking has made me hungry, too. I'm with you. <gasps> oh, dear. Soon I will no longer be thinking, which means I will no longer be hungry. <gasps> oh, my goodness gracious, I better eat a lot. Do you like peanut butter, Scaredy? Oh, well, I am sure I will learn to like it. <laughs> Ow! I'll take that as a no. <gasps> oh, what? Wait. Oh, no. My tooth has come out. <gasps> oh, farewell, precious wisdom. You, uh, gonna finish this? No, Frank, stop! You want a bite too, Ruby? Mission accomplished. Now all we have to do is wait for the tooth fairy. I would not like that very much. <laughs> but thank you for asking. Someone lose a tooth. Weirdest thing. I was down in the crypt when a tooth fell on my head. <laughs> what does one have to do to lose a lost tooth around here? I heard somewhere that peanut butter and jelly works. Bite? 
Then the hideous creature snuck into the parlor. Talons raised, determined to have its fill of juicy victims. Under the circumstances, perhaps we should read something more upbeat. Nah, I'd rather hear what happens next with the hideous creature. There, all systems go. I can't wait to catch the elusive tooth fairy in the act. <laughs> It's only eight o'clock? Feels more like midnight. That's because it is midnight. Scaredy turned back the clock. Scaredy, did you put the clock back so we wouldn't have to go to bed? Well, if I had my wisdom, I would have come up with a better plan, you know? Maybe the Tooth Fairy is lurking in the shadows right now, waiting for the right moment to pound! Ah! Scaredy, trust me. There's nothing to worry about. See you in the morning. Oh, well, let us hope so, Ruby. <laughs> I will not fall asleep. Oh, no. No. <sighs> How can I be so tired when I am on my fourth cup of coffee? Oh, darn. Decaf. Have 278 deciduous teeth, 39 fangs, and 423 incisors to collect. Well, excuse me, but that is a lot of teeth, isn't it? 740 to be exact. I get them mostly from bar fights, hockey games, and old folks' homes. Oh, you're not at all what I was expecting. Yeah, me neither. You think it's easy sneaking into people's rooms late at night to swipe their teeth? <gasps> Sounds utterly fear inducing. Uh, I'm scaredy. Yeah, I get that a lot. One of these days, I'm going to get a complex. No, no, no. My name is Scaredy. <laughs> nice to meet you. Um... Millie the overworked, confused, and utterly bored tooth fairy. Oh, well, perhaps I could just call you... Yes! <laughs> Millie? Knock yourself out, kid. Oh, okay. Um, well, you don't seem to like being a tooth fairy, Millie. Am I right? Ah, it's not like I have a choice. Every one of my family's in the tooth business. So, here I am, stuck. No possibility of retirement for the next 40 centuries. Oh, dear. Well, here. Now you can tell your family, job well done. Eh, don't bother. I'm actually thinking of quitting the whole tooth exchange business. I'm drained. Got nothing left of me to give. Oh, well, I hope it was not something I said. You know, I'm not very wise these days. Of course. If I quit, I can't go home. Yeah. Got nowhere to go. No place to hang my hat. Mm, but you're not wearing a hat. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I get it. Well, oh, please, we have lots of spare beds here. I'll take this one. Oh, no, no. <laughs> but you see, that is my... And if fairy headquarters calls, tell them I'm N.A. Um... Not available. Oh. A tooth fairy who doesn't want to be a tooth fairy? That's quite a pickle. Pickle? Well, the poor thing needs some peace and quiet to calm her frazzled nerves and... <laughs> Maybe we can help her. Millie can stay for as long as she wants. I can't wait to meet her. Oh, you will like her, Ruby. She's about yay big, cute, and a little high strung. I feel like I already know her. 
Lunchtime. Yum! Thanks, Thank you, Ruby. Ruby. Thanks. Guys, we have a new house guest. Her name is Millie. Let's make her feel like one of us. Here you go, Scaredy Bat. This hot water bottle should help with the toothache. <laughs> That's for stomach aches, Frank. I keep trying to tell you my tooth is gone. <laughs> gone, I tell you. Where'd it go? I lost it. I heard somewhere that if you lose something, you should look in the last place you left it. No, I already know where I left it. Then it's not lost, and we can help you get rid of it. Whoa! Poor little bat still trying to knock his tooth loose. Guys, look! See? Ah! We gotta find a cure fast, Frank. Now Ruby's losing her teeth, too. Normally, I would say something witty right about now, but <sighs> without my wisdom, I have nothing. It's so nice that you can stay with us, Millie. Likewise, I'm sure. I wonder how much flour I should use for my gloomy cookies. Taking into account the number of people in the house, multiplied by their size, divided by the number of people who hate raisins, Three and one quarter cups. <gasps> wow, that was amazing, Millie. Yeah, thanks. Too bad there's no such job as flower figure outer. If only I knew what to do with the rest of my life. If only I had my precious wisdom back. If only I hadn't run out of flower. A proper poetry recitation requires great acoustics. Maybe I should stand on a crate by the fireplace. Taking into account the room dimensions, the slope ceilings, the dust, you want your mouth apparatus exactly 23 paces away. Well, that's exactly what I was going to say. With my mouth apparatus. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, Excuse me, but how is this helping Poe's poetry recitation? Not sure, but numbers don't lie. 22, 23. Okay, here goes. There once was a crow from Nantucket. Scary bat, a scary bat, has a real short tooth. I think something's off. You're right, maybe it's the rhythm. Hmm. That's right, Len. To determine the number of beats per bar, divide the time signature by three. For example, in a six eight time signature, there's two beats per measure. I think a nine eight time signature would work best here. That's it! Millie, that is... Here, allow me. And a one, four, six, seven, nine. Oh, I am never gonna figure out what to do with the rest of my life. Oh, I know. Ever since I lost my wisdom, I've resigned myself to a life of eating mosquitoes and sleeping till noon. Don't you do that already? Oh, yes, I suppose. But before, I did it wisely. You know, I've noticed you really like numbers. Oh, love everything about them. Counting teeth, charting the types of teeth in inventory, calculating revenue versus trinket expenditures. Numbers never let you down. Well, promise you won't get mad, but I think I've got you a job. What do you mean? Well, Ferry Headquarters called earlier looking for you, so... <coughs> Hello? Oh, I'm sorry, but Millie's not here. Oh, no. Uh, may I take a message? Oh. oh, yes, sir, Mr. Ferry, sir. I will be sure to pass that along. Um, you know, while I have you on the line, um, may I ask you something? So, I spoke with Ferry Headquarters, and they say there is an opening in the accounting department. An accountant? Are you square, Bat Bat? Uh, yes. <laughs> Perhaps even rectangle. I don't know. <laughs> ah, oh, thanks, kid. But the chances of me breaking into the big time are zero to 467,384,509. That's an approximation, of course. Oh, of course. A bona fide tooth counter? Really? Yes, really! Yes! You're all right, kid. I gotta get me a new abacus right away. See you around, scaredy. Oh, goodbye, Millie. Good luck at Ferry Headquarters. <laughs> What's this? Instantly restores wisdom? It's just what I needed. Oh, oh delectable. Oh, wait. You cannot get wisdom from a darned candy. Oh, dear. But I would not know this if I did not still have my wisdom. 
Yes! Oh, yes! I am smart. No doubt. I am smart. Oh. That tooth fairy was a bit of a downer, huh? It was still nice having Millie around. I hope she enjoys her new job at fairy headquarters. Yeah, counting Iris's teeth. Teeth? I thought you just lost one tooth, Iris. So I pulled another tooth. I wanted to see if the healing crystal works. It doesn't. Yep, things are finally back to normal. Ah! Scaredy, come back! We finally figured out how to get rid of your tooth. You mean I figured it out? Now's not the time for blame, Lynn. Come back! Oh, yeah. Everything's back to normal, all right. How to brighten someone's day. Helpful hint number one. There's no harm in a heartwarming smile. Well, of course. Helpful hint number two. Brighten someone's day by offering a cheery hello. Always do that. Hello! Always find something about a person that you can compliment. Oh, that's me to a T. And whilst night brought the dark and denied any light, oh. the sleep called forth, which I could not <laughs> fight. So, Misery, what did you think? Better than nine on Valerian root. Do I... thank you? Don't need this anymore. It's like I made that record myself. <laughs> <laughs>